I remember going to like a, a, a you know business conference a few years ago, and there were a bunch of bankers there, mm -hmm. and I, I they were talking about banking and what we require, etc. And the question was posed to the bankers. I actually raised the question. I said, "What sort of covenants do you require?" What I was asking all these questions. Right. What kind of reporting requirements do you have? And they were like, "Well, usually just a tax return is good enough." And I'm thinking, "Yeah, but for what size of a line of credit?" And we're back. Mind your business with Eat Six Aftless right here on 77 WABC. Yes, you're, uh, the background noise that you hear is because we're coming to you from a SNF Co. Business Academy that took place in Lakewood. This was a special event brought to you by Saul and Freeman & Company and Investors Bank. And the topic of tonight's presentation was understanding the bank's perspective. And now I have none other than an executive at Saul and Freeman & Company, none other than Avrami Friedman partner at SNFCO. Thank you so much for joining me here on Mind Your Business. Glad to be here. Now, you know, let's talk about your, you know, you've been uh, in the business for how many years now? Uh, since 2008. 2008. So you're doing it going on 12 years. Yep. Um, you now oversee the Lakewood division, which has to be, you know, perhaps the fastest growing division because, I mean, Lakewood in general is the fastest growing. One of one of the speakers you mentioned tonight, your brother mentioned it, Simeon. Lakewood is one of the five fastest growing communities in the entire United States. That's correct. We feel it. So there's opportunity here. So perhaps you could even talk about your branch. You moved into a beautiful new space recently. Yes. Please share. So in the past, we've, we've had a satellite office in Lakewood for a, very, uh, for a, uh, a few years, actually. Mm -hmm. But um, our lease was up, and we decided to, to uh, make, a, make a decision. Is Lake, we, it, in general, it was always a satellite office. It was purely done as a convenience for the employees. Uh, the commute uh, was, uh, you know, quite difficult, and we have we realized that to to recruit talent, um, we had to reach out to the Lakewood community. Um, we have uh, hired top top people, um, and as purely as a as a service or as a, mm -hmm. you know, as a as, a, as, as a convenience yeah. for the employees, um, we opened the satellite office probably. Uh, eight years ago but it was you know it was just basic it was you know us working and it, it was not chair it was, it was, exactly desk. exactly okay. and and everybody was required to go in a certain amount of times a week um but you know and then when the lease was up we had a decision to make and the decision was do we go big or do we just continue doing what we're doing and the decision we made looking at exactly what's going on in lakewood and the growth in lakewood we realized this is the place to be um, as a matter of fact, my, my dad, uh, you know, made a joke. He, he was like, uh, you know, he had his he has his business in Brooklyn for the last 40 years. Right. He says, based on what he's seeing, he's thinking of actually moving the headquarters here to Lakewood. <laughs> um, but it's it's really been uh, eye opening and, and uh, you know, it's, it's quite an experience. I mean, I remember a few years back the struggle that we had um, early on um, in the Lakewood, you know, attracting Lakewood clients was simply at that point, talking about eight years ago or nine years ago when they started uh, the satellite office, the community was, you know, there, there, were, there was a certain amount of growth. Um, we are usually like a middle market division where mm -hmm. we are claim to fame is where we step in is usually when we're trying, when somebody usually outgrows their sole practitioner, mm -hmm. where they feel that they're not being serviced um, to the degree that they need. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, where they need a little more, they need a, test, a dedicated tax department, an audit department, an IRS resolution department. Um, and obviously our bread and butter is financials where we have reviewed, audited, you know, where the banks require more of an, you know, an attestation service. Um, so... I remember going to like a, a, a you know business conference a few years ago, and there were a bunch of bankers there, mm -hmm. and I, I, they were talking about banking and what we require, etc. And the question was posed to the bankers. I actually raised the question. I said, "What sort of covenants do you require?" What I was right. asking all these questions. Right. What kind of reporting requirements do you have? And they were like, "Well, usually just a tax return is good enough." And I'm thinking, "Yeah, but for what size of a line of credit?" And they said, "Well." Uh, that should get you 300000 500000 And I'm like, okay, but what if you need a $5 million line of credit? Oh, for that, you've got to speak to our uh, division and, and business banking and Newark, you know? And um, <laughs> so obviously when we're, it was a different set. But now in Lakewood, it's grown so much where this is what the community needs and, and we're growing up, so to speak. And now the, 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 the place for our firm, uh, you know, where we step in, is, uh, has grown and, and we're really optimistic and this is definitely the place to be 
Um, we are, you know, we're on top of it. We're organized. We're meticulous about being timely. Um, and it's something that the banks appreciate. It's something that we lend our expertise to that we've had over the years. And we just simply transplanted it. And we're able to draw on our, our, uh, our resources in the headquarters in Brooklyn. And, and you know, nice. and, and again, every, it's, it's sort of like we're able to today, you know, we're completely seamlessly linked in. And, uh, you know, every tax return that goes out is reviewed by our tax, re- tax director in Brooklyn. So it's, it's sort of like it's seamless. All together. Let me ask you just a question. I don't mean to, I'm not going to ask you to share any secrets, but the secret sauce that you could share. I've been a client of Sol and Freeman Company for years. How in the world do you manage to get out the returns in March? I just, I mean, again, thank I'm not complaining. Yaakov Shimon is tuned in. Yaakov Shimon, thank you. I am not complaining. But how in the world do you do that? Well, it's not. It's it's a really simple answer. We're engaged throughout the year. In other words, we do not want surprises. Today, I mean, December is coming up. Um, we have already for my clients. I've posted, and mm-hmm. you know, we've produced quarterlies mm-hmm. for um, for the nine thirties already. So at this point, we're able to to sort of understand right. what get a handle, or so to can... get a handle on on exactly what's going on. And this is when we do our tax planning. You know, this is where we have the meetings and say, look. You're expecting to uh, make a lot of income. Maybe it does pay to go out and buy that truck, because uh, you know, with you're you're able to you're able to take the right. full deduction for it. This is we don't wake up in in February and say, okay, let's close the year now. What we know what's coming. We make the plans and we basically we want. I have one client where I insist. I know that their 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 you know their bookkeeping is is tight. I want them to close the year, but January third, you know, I want it. I want it as soon as possible. You know, so it doesn't happen the third, but by the eighth, I expect to be able to close and and take the numbers and, and turn it around. Avrami, what's the location of your um, of Lakewood home, Lakewood base? Oh, now yeah. people are in seventh heaven. It's beautiful. It's the tallest building in Lakewood. Nice. Um, <laughs> yes, two eleven um, uh, um, Boulevard of the Americas, okay. Tower One, otherwise known as. Um, they it's a brand new building. We we. Put in furniture and 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 That's you know nice. it's spacious in this room and it's very very different from. And the, you meet with clients there. Yes, absolutely. We're not embarrassed to bring them in. I had one client tell me last time. He's like, "I'm happy you moved. I mean, you should." <laughs> said it was a satellite office. What do you expect? But now it's really really gorgeous. There's a gorgeous conference room and, and you know it's it's uh, the people love to come to work in the morning. It's great. SNFCO.com. SNFCO.com. What's the liquid number or do they call the main number? The main number. We're the all the main number. It's all. And it's what, all again, all what's connected. the main number? 718-232-1111. Simple enough. Again, 718-232-1111. <laughs> uh, Romy Friedman, a partner at SNFCO. Thank you so much for joining me here on Mind Your Business. Yes, glad to be here. Thanks so much. I love the honor of interviewing C-level executives and sharing their great advice and perspective on Mind Your Business. I'd love to get your feedback. Post it in the comments below and subscribe. You'll never miss an edition of Mind Your Business.